Thank you. God bless you. And God bless these United States. I suppose I've gotten used to the fact that my brother is the president of the United States. You know, I'm a history teacher, so it feels strange sometimes to recognize that my brother's words and life will be woven into history. I'm very proud that the story that will be told will be a good one. Election night 2008 was a very bittersweet moment for me because our grandmother had passed away the night before. A couple of nights before she said she wasn't so sure that she wanted him to be president because she knew that the burden would be great, that he would have to solve many problems that were seemingly impossible to solve and that he would have to make decisions that were very difficult to make. She came the following day to the conclusion that it was important and that he was strong enough. Hello, Chicago! And so the election night was very bittersweet because she couldn't be there to celebrate. And those who tell us that we can't, we will respond with that timeless creed that sums up the spirit of a people. Yes, we can. It was such an enormous moment, a powerful one, and I recognized that night that I would have to put my brother on loan for a few years, that he belonged to the country now. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. The truth is that my brother has not changed very much. Of course, it is hard work, and yes, it has given him more white hair, but he has remained steadily himself he still goes home to Hawaii every year. He spends time with many of his childhood friends. He still reads to the girls. He's present at piano recitals, and he speaks to them on a daily basis about who they are and what they're dreaming of. What we see in him is, in spite of the weight of the world being on his shoulders, is someone who can remain light in many ways. He takes his work very seriously, but he doesn't always take himself so seriously. He and Michelle are both quite funny. I decided to bring someone out with me. You may know this guy. He feels grateful to the nation for having the privilege of serving as president and meeting people and hearing stories. He loves that part of governing. Many people see themselves reflected in his life and in his words. We believe in an America where no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter where you come from, no matter who you love, you can pursue your own happiness and you can make it if you try. I'm happy to loan him to the rest of the country. I want him back in 2016, say. <laughs>